Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here from the PC Hacker 11 channel, and it feels really weird saying that. Um, if I'm right at the moment of recording this, it's been about a year since the last video on this channel, so um, I'm, I'm not going to apologize for being so inactive. But anyway, I wanted to make this as kind of an update slash follow-up to the paint splatter effect wallpaper tutorial, which, looking at the date right now, was posted three years ago, and it's gotten... 33,314 views. So I'd like to say thank you all who have uh, enjoyed this video, viewed this video, watched it, and made some pretty awesome wallpapers. But I wanted to make this video as a, uh, a follow-up to some comments that have been recently coming up on these videos, such as the brush site is down, where can I find the brushes, I can't get the brushes, and then is this compatible with Mac? So. I went into the description of this video and I looked at the links for the brushes and I found out that the first brushes link no longer works. So I clicked on it and it brought up just a 404 page, didn't work. And uh, I've clearly updated that right here, but I decided to leave the link down there as part of a record of the uh, original video. But I looked at the second link and this second link right here, that one still works fine. So if we go to that, I have it loaded up right here. These are the brushes that I used for the majority of that tutorial. And those brushes work perfectly fine. So for those of you all asking, down here the brushes are they still work perfectly fine it's just a uh, minus the first link up there but um, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys some new brushes and give you guys some links to some new different paint splatter brushes because I figure one link for one set of brushes for this tutorial isn't quite enough so I went around and I searched for a whole bunch of other ones and this is the original but I also found this brush set this one and this one. So that's three different sets of paint splatter brushes that you guys can use. I'll feel free to link them in the description of this video so that you guys can download them. And I wanted to give you guys just a quick little tip heads up if you're new to using brushes in Photoshop. You can search for brushes in Photoshop on different brush websites or you can just go to deviantart.com and they have a huge database of different effects, brushes, and plugins that you guys can use for Photoshop. As you can see here, I just searched for paint splatter brushes and it found 2,139 results. So definitely try searching on DeviantArt for something that you want to, uh, just in case a link on a three-year-old video decides to crap out on you guys. So anyway, I'll leave the links to all of these in the video's description as well. So I guess that addresses these questions right here. And also, are these brushes compatible with Mac? Yes, they are. As you can see, I'm on a Mac right now, but uh, I guess that's kind of bad for the whole PC Hacker 11 name, but if they're brushes for Photoshop, they should they should work on either Mac or Windows. You guys can uh, use them anyway because Photoshop is cross-platform, so it shouldn't matter what operating system you're on. So as you can see here, I'm using Photoshop CS6 on my Mac right here, and I'm just going to demo to you guys some of the different brushes that I found that I linked in the description. So if I, uh, if I bring up my brush tool, as you can see, we have all of these different brushes, and I have a ton of brushes. These here are all of the, uh, all the older ones, as you can see. Those are the ones from the link that was in the previous video. Then I also have um, this one, I believe. That one's new. And then um, there's this one. There's one I really wanted to show you guys that was pretty cool. This uh, I think it was 327 or somewhere around there. Um, yeah, it was 327. As you can see, that looks kind of cool, anything within that family. I think there was a higher res one somewhere in here, but uh, I've lost it in my mess of brushes. But um, there's tons of brushes here. But the one pack that I really wanted you guys to check out is this uh, high res pack right here. These are all high resolution brushes, and they all look really awesome and fantastic. And also, there's a ton of them. As you can see, the majority of these brushes right here are the high res ones. And just to give you a little demo, there's that one. As you can see, they all have like different textures to them and whatnot and this could make a really good look for some kind of grungy wallpaper that you guys want to do and as always you can resize them accordingly just in case they're too high res but um that's pretty much it there's all of those brushes that you can download from the links that i will provide in the description they work cross-platform on uh, mac and windows and uh, I will leave a link to this in the description as well if you guys want to watch my original tutorial but bear in mind I posted it three years ago so the quality is obviously not that good because I was just a beginner but I wanted to make this as a quick little update to address those questions as well as say that I still read those comments even though I don't post videos on here so um that's pretty much it for this quick little update slash tutorial thingy um I hope you guys are all having a good day and if you guys feel want to check out some of the videos that I'm posting currently I'm posting them on my main account which is uh this one right here 
which I will link in the description. And I believe the last one I posted was a week ago from today. But um, that's pretty much it. So thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys probably over there because this channel is pretty much dead. So um, yeah, goodbye.